Tennessee Governor Bill Haslam was in Chattanooga this morning to speak to graduating students from Chattanooga State Community College. It was one of the first classes that included students who studied under the Tennessee Promise Program. But the governor talked about a lot of other things, too, as News 12's Ashley Henderson reports. Governor Bill Haslam. The governor was the featured speaker at the ceremony held at Abba's house in Hickson. Many of the 588 graduates attended classes at Chattanooga State Community College's Tennessee College of Applied Technology. It was free of charge under the Drive to 55 program developed by Haslam five years ago. The governor noted that he was there mostly to celebrate and thank the graduates. You're meeting a need for us out there. We have folks saying, we will come to Tennessee if you can help us find these positions. So thank you. You are actually achieving that. Drive to 55 aims to increase the number of Tennesseans with post-high school educations to 55% by 2025 through a number of initiatives, including Tennessee Promise, which offers scholarships to high school graduates entering community colleges. So if you're sitting out there thinking, wow, I'd like to be one of these folks, I'd like to do what they did, you can do that, and it's free here, and I hope you won't miss the opportunity. Haslam says since Drive to 55 was first launched and unemployment was at 10 percent, the state has come out of the recession. We've added about 450,000 net new jobs in Tennessee, but now the situation's changed. Now I have employers saying, hey, can you find us some more welders? Can you find us some more uh, IT folks? Can you find us some more mechanics? There were 55 welders, 50 electricians, 45 cosmetologists, and 29 medical assistants who graduated in this class. After the ceremony, the governor spoke on a number of issues at a news conference. He worries about tariffs, which he says are hurting Tennessee automakers like Volkswagen and Nissan. Also included on that list are farmers, says Haslam, who hopes the president will change his mind. In Chattanooga, Ashley Henderson, News 12 Now.